on hot ones, how far do you think you would go? I think I would do, though. I, I don't have, like... I, I would say my spice tolerance is very normal. It's not crazy. Um, but it's also not zero. I think I would do all the wings. I would just be, like... It would hurt a lot. It'd be really uncomfortable. But I think I would, I would, I would clear it. I would not, like... I would not eat the last wing in its entirety, or, I mean, I guess you, it's a tradition to do the, the last dab, right? I guess I would do that, because I don't want to be bullied by the commenters. Who has ever not done them all? Who's the, is it DJ Khaled that had the one that was like barbecue sauce and, and tapped out? I haven't seen that much Hot Ones, honestly. I know it's like, it's must watch. Rick, Ricky Gervais also? I mean, I don't think we should call anybody, like, a bitch for not eating <laughs> the wings on hot ones, but not even getting through, like, the Cholula wing is, is, it is surprising, if nothing else. I'm not, a, you know I'm not a Ricky Gervais fan. Like, I'm a big fan of his uh, stand-up comedy, especially all of his recent stuff, but I don't like all the charity work that he does for, for, like, pets and animals and stuff like that. It's just like, come on. DJ Khaled didn't even try? Well, like, listen, I'm not... <laughs> I don't know DJ Khaled. I do find his... existence humorous. Everything I know about him makes me think we wouldn't... Like, he might be... If he invited me to dinner as a celebrity... Uh, most famous people, I would probably say... Yeah, I would clear some space out of my schedule. Not because I thought it was, like you know, worthwhile for me on, like, a, a monetary level, just because I think it would be interesting to talk to somebody that, you know, lives in a different world than me. DJ Khaled, I think I would say no. It's, it has nothing to do with the fact that he said he doesn't perform cunnilingus. It has nothing to do with the fact that I don't really like his music. I saw him perform at the Overwatch League Grand Finals one year, and literally the whole concert was just him with a microphone saying play another one and then they played like the hook of a song that he was the producer on and then he said no no cut it after like 15 seconds and then said hit him with another one like it wasn't even a concert it was just like a hit clips montage of his own songs that he wasn't even really on really like it's the 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 thing that really tilted me over the edge with dj khaled was when i saw the video of him at Salt Bay's restaurant, which is already like a red flag, and he was losing his mind over like a $500 cheeseburger that when you cut into it just oozes like an unbelievably disgusting amount of cheese. I'm not saying that he... <laughs> I'm being careful with the way that I phrase this, I guess. Um, I, he strikes me as kind of like as garish, I suppose outlandish and loud and non-subtle and like these they're not necessarily damning character flaws but they're not uh they're not things that i would look for in in a in a dining partner like they they would not make a my dinner with andre with wallace sean having dinner with dj khaled wallace sean would be so anyway dj khaled you live in miami what are your thoughts on the cuban diaspora and how it relates to mankind's search for meaning and dj khaled would be like i'll have the 500 hundred dollar cheeseburger please and yeah extra gold foil yes i think dj khaled would be in my nightmare blunt rotation i i would say so again there's probably people that are cool with it obviously dj khaled has real friends and I, i'm not even saying that facetiously but like i don't want to smoke a bowl with DJ Khaled and then he starts like playing his own songs for me or something like that like I have no idea why he was at the Overwatch League Grand Finals like reminds me of when we had Champions of Fire 1 and they were like come to the after party you get your picture taken with Chuck the Iceman Liddell <laughs> oh man after a long weekend of playing Fruit Ninja on your Amazon Fire tablet, nothing takes the edge off like going into an ex insanely loud Las Vegas nightclub to get your picture taken with a UFC fighter who has no fucking idea who you are at all. Did you get a picture with him? No, I was late to get to the party because... I didn't want to go, <laughs> and then I was like, we should go. And then I tried to 
go in and the guy was like, you need to take your hat off. And I was like, what? I thought the people in the club wear hats. I didn't realize that I had to take my hat off. So I go, oh, now I'm in the damn nightclub holding my baseball hat in my hands, wearing my branded Champions of Fire jacket. Like, what the fuck am I doing here, man?